understand Filipino? Yes. Or is there anyone who doesn't understand Filipino? So I can speak Tagalog. Because I was worried actually because I I'd be joking and then someone wouldn't understand my jokes. Yeah, and Google lines because it doesn't really translate well in English. So who among you have attended any gender sensitivity seminars before? Anyone? Oh. <laughs> so is it new to you? So we're going like um it's okay. It's easy to understand, but I'll confuse you a bit. Because the uh, so Soji, as mentioned by Dita Kim earlier, Soji, and I some of you already know what Soji is, but we'll discuss it further later on. In in this in discussing gender sensitivity, we have to we have to understand the concept of sex and gender. I I like as much as possible um, to engage my audience, and I actually ask questions, and I I go near the audience usually, and ask them to answer my questions in order for us to be better interactive and really tell boring. So. I will volunteer people to answer my questions. Go okay lang sa inyo. Yes, wala na yung choice. Ako yung nandito sa unahan. Yeah, so sex and gender. Um, if, paano na unang naiisip ninyo when you hear sex and gender? Si ma'am na lang kasi siya lang na po'y naka-attend ng gender sex and gender. There's always something different. Yeah. <laughs> sex is reality and gender is what you prefer. What you prefer. Sex is reality. What is real to you might not be real to me. Ah, that is the biological. Yes. Yeah. So, sex is uh, refers to your biological characteristics of a person. When the doctor, uh, when you, when your mom gave birth to you, the doctor announces, it's a boy or it's a girl. That's your sex. And sex is universal, and it doesn't change. Sex is based on your genitalia, chromosomes, hormones. It can be either male, female, or intersex. So, I'm not sure if, you, if you've heard intersex before. But intersex is, uh, when it is actually most commonly known as a hermaphrodite. Herma but the political, uh, the politically correct term to be used now is intersex. Some people say calling someone a hermaphrodite is offensive. <coughs> so intersex is what when a person or when a person is born and have ambiguous genitalia or genitalia, that person is an intersex person. And most often, parents or the doctor chooses chooses the sex of the child. But then when they grow up, the tendency is that there is a dis disconnect. Sometimes when you were born, um, you're, it's possible that the male genitalia is more prominent than the female genitalia. The female genitalia is more prominent than the other one. Then you remove the less prominent one. But then, as the child grows up, it changes. So, it is um, said that you wait for, for the person to develop fully before any surgery or sex, reaffir sex affirmation surgery should be done. <coughs> so, again, it's easy to remember that when we talk about anything biological, it's sex. I'm not talking about sex, the action of sex, but the sex that is what's between your legs. So, gender. Um, as well as Ma'am said, that gender is what you prefer. It can be actually said that what as, as that, but it is your preference or your, your preference is based on something, right? So, if sex is biological, gender is social and cultural. 
It's the differences between a man and a woman based on society's norms, roles, and relationships. This is a concept of maleness or femaleness. Gender is a concept of <coughs> your yung ano, pagiging lalaki or pagiging babae. Yung pagkaka, pagkababae or pagkababae ng isang tao. These are psychological features and roles, attributes that society assigns to the biological sex. <coughs> so, included sa gender is the roles. For example, you say that, ah, you're a woman, you're supposed to take care of the children at home. That's a gender role. And in relationships, it is often said that the man should be more dominant than the woman in relationships. But I see faces here that seem to be disagreeing with that. I will, I will want to talk about it later in the open forum. So that's the that's gender, that's the norms, the traditions, or how you see your relationships in society. So sex again is biological. Gender is social and cultural. <clears throat> gender is a spectrum. Spectrum being said that because it is not a um, one zero and one. It's not black and white. You cannot be simply completely male, a hundred percent male, or completely hundred percent female in your manner of actions. Um, how you move, how you speak. There would be times that you comment on a person, you'd be like, ah, oh, he's a guy, but he moves kind of feminine. But it doesn't mean that, it doesn't mean that he's not a man. That's why gender is a spectrum. There are, there are degrees, variations of combinations of how a person is. It's a range of expression because it is how you well express yourself. It's how you show yourself to society. It's how you relate to yourself, how you see yourself, and it is your personal identity. No one can dictate what your gender is. So you get someone can say no one can tell you that you're not a man. Because if you say you're a man, then you are a man because it is your identity and it's your personal thing. So again, it's not just male or female. And gender is not based on body parts because that's sex. And not gender is not a sexual orientation. Yes? So is it wrong to say, magpakababae ka na? <coughs> in, well, in what context? Uh, uh, it could be offensive to say. But what does your mother say? <laughs> <laughs> well, because the basis of what you said is because of the tradition or the norm that girls are expected to ask a certain way. Yeah, so we will be discussing further more on gender sensitivity in order for us to break those um, mga traditional or normal na stereotypes when it comes to a certain sex or a certain gender. So I mentioned <coughs> that gender is not a sexual orientation. Here, we're going to start to confuse, I'm going to start to confuse you a bit. So sexual orientation refers to what sexual, affectional, or romantic interests. It's kanino ka nagkakagusto. Who you like, who you love, who you want to be with. It's not merely admiration or um, admiration or just a mere, a mere crush. Because sometimes females are common to sa babae na nagkakaroon siya ng girl crush. But it doesn't mean that your sexual orientation changes. You're just admiring a person. And Everyone has a sexual orientation. Kasi hindi siya pila, ay hindi naman ako gay. I'm not gay, I'm not a lesbian. So does it, 
does not mean I don't have a sexual orientation. No, everyone has a sexual orientation. Be kahit straight ka, if you're straight, if you're homosexual, that is your sexual orientation. But again, orientation is not the same as behavior since not everyone acts on their attractions. <clears throat> Some people experience their sexual orientation as an unchanging lifelong part of their nature. And some uh, experience it as more fluid way that changes over time or across situations. So it doesn't mean that you're gay today, you're gay forever. And it doesn't mean that you're gay now cannot be gay tomorrow. Because <laughs> sexual orientation, some people actually believe that sexual orientation and gender is, is fluid and it can change up across your lifetime. And it doesn't mean that if you say that you're gay now and you change, is that you're in denial. It's just something that in your personal, something something in you changed. And it doesn't mean that you, 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 were pretend, you were pretending or you were experimenting. Like it's not just a face. It doesn't mean that way. It's just that people change, just like how you grow. <clears throat> and many people become aware of their sexual and romantic feelings during adolescence. Or even earlier. Some do not realize or acknowledge their attractions until much later in life. It is also important to note that once gender identity is a distinct concept to sexual orientation. Okay, take note of that. Once gender identity is different from sexual orientation, it doesn't, it's not the same thing. So, to whom one prefers to have sexual or romantic relations with, it's your sexual orientation. So, the most often, uh, if we're, we're going to talk about uh, the most common sexual orientations are heterosexual. These are the common straight people attracted to members of the opposite sex. And then homosexuals, those are attracted to the same sex. And that here, malina ba ko di ba? Both heterosexual and homosexuals. So straight and then not straight, homosexual. <clears throat> Next slide. <laughs> <laughs> so um, LGBTQ asterisk. I always I always say this that I put asterisk there to, to be more inclusive because if I if I include all the sexual orientations, I might complete the alphabet. So it's going to be LGBTQ, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or something like that. So we include the asterisk there to be more inclusive. But then we, we know we know that the LGBT community, uh, when referring to members of the LGBT, it is said to be more politically correct to, to call people as persons with different soji. Persons with different soji meaning people with who differ in with their regarding their sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression. But I haven't discussed the last part yet. I haven't discussed gender identity and gender expression yet. We're, stu we're still at the, at the SO part, sexual orientation. So here here are the most common sexual orientation that we encounter, that we can encounter: lesbians, gays, bisexual, and queer. So, I define lesbian and gay here as self-identified woman. Lesbians, a self-identified woman who is romantically or sexually attracted to other self-identified women. Take note, I placed self-identified there 
Because again, gender identity is different from sexual orientation. And then for a gay person, it's a self-identified man who is romantically or sexually attracted to other self-identified men. And bisexuals are those who are attracted to both. But it doesn't mean if you're attracted to both that you want them at the same time. It doesn't mean... <laughs> Actually, the joke on ito, pag bisexual ka, Hindi ka, hindi yun yung lisensya mo para yung salawakan. It's cheating, yes. Or unless you, you agree to a polyamorous relationship. Actually, I'm just asking my son about that. If you are bisexual and you have a boyfriend and you have a girlfriend at the same time, it's a cheating. And he said it's cheating because but the show ta ka iba, cheating yun. Well, um... <laughs> It depends on who you ask, actually, because some people would say that it's not cheating as long as all parties know. As long as they have their agreement that they're all in a relationship. That's, um, it, there is this concept of polyamory. The, or it, the, but usually, it's a monogamous relationship, part of what is the one. But when I'm, people are evolving and they say that it's okay to have a relationship with more than one person. And there are actually relationships such as open relationships. Um, like they're committed to someone, but then they get to, they actually are allowed to see other people, but as long as their partner knows about it. Yeah, but that's not, I'm not, I'm, yeah. <laughs> Hindi siya kasali sa discussion ko, pero okay. <laughs> Ayun, so polyamory naman daw po is actually them all being in a relationship. For example, may five sila, magka-relationship sila, five sila. As opposed to the open relationship na meron siyang girlfriend or boyfriend that they're allowed to see other people na hindi nila ka-relationship. So that's how dating works now. <laughs> It gets more complicated in that. Oh, life gets more complicated as you age of MG. So clear. Used to refer to a complete range of non-heterosexual and non-cisgender people. So non-heterosexual meaning kahit, um, those that are not straight and those that are not um, that are not cisgender. Um, who here has has had classes in chemistry before? I think cis um, in chemistry, there was a term na cis something. I've I never had classes in chemistry because I'm equal to that. We never had science classes. So, <laughs> well, um, as you know this, Paul, um, di ba LGBTQ siya, pero yun nandiyan lang ay LGBTQ. Trans is not a sexual orientation. Transgenderism is a gender identity. That, that's why it's not included in my discussion for se on sexual orientation. Gender identity is a person's internal and psychological sense of oneself. It could be either as a man, a woman, both, in between or neither. Yeah, you can be, you can identify yourself as not a man or a woman. It depends on how, what you want to be identified as. So a person's gender identity may be the same or different from their physiological sex at birth. So this is where a, per, a person is a cisgender if If their gender identity corresponds with the, the sex assigned at birth. So if you're born a man and you identify as a man, then you are a man. Then you are a cisgender man. But if you are a man, born a man, but then identify yourself as a woman, it, your gender identity is not aligned with your sex assigned at birth, then you are a transgender woman because you identify yourself as a woman and not as your biological sex. 
the most, Marab, we have like a lot of famous transgender people such as Bibi, Bibi Gandangari, yes, um, Jake Zionist. Jake Zionist is a trans man. And I think Vice Ganda is now a trans woman. Because there was an interview with, with Katriona and she was saying, Is it okay if I'm the first trans woman who joins the Bini 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 Binas pageant? And then, yeah, so I guess she, she identifies now as a woman. <coughs> So again, I have been saying that gender identity is different from sexual orientation. So a trans, 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 trans person or a transgender can also have their sexual orientation. A transgender can be gay, lesbian, bisexual, queer, or even heterosexual. How come nangyari yun? Paano siya magiging heterosexual kung transgender siya? Again, magkaiba po yung gender identity sa sexual orientation. So, if a person identifies themselves as a man and they were born female, they are trans man siya. That person is a trans man and can have a sexual orientation. The trans man can be gay if he gets attracted to men. That's why it was in, in my definition of lesbians, gays, it, I stated there that they are self-identified, yes, self-identified man or self-identified woman who are, is attracted to, to another self-identified man or woman. Yes, so that's how a transgender has, uh, can also have their sexual orientation. So if, if you get confused, you can actually just raise your hand and ask me a question because you might forget your question later on. And yeah, you can interrupt me anytime. And then gender expression. It's the outward manifestation of your gender. It can be on your fashion style, how you dress up. Uh, pronoun choice, like uh, if you want to be called he, um, he or she, be addressed as sir, ma'am, miss, mister. But then if you don't want to be addressed as either mister or miss, you can have be addressed as mix, as an MX. That is the more um, gender sensitive. MX, mix. It's actually recently just you start to use. So if, if you don't know if the person identifies as either woman or man, you can use mix and X. So question. Yes, ma'am. If you like for example in correspondence, the being all Mr. Lito, M S Yon, or Mr. Ganon. But if you do not know the MX, is that is that polite? Is that correct? Um Usually, dear sir slash madam. Yes. Um, we can we can discuss that if we talk about gender fair language. But um, if we don't know the gender identity or the sex of the person that we are writing a letter to, for example, directors, director, we can just write dear director or dear editor instead of dear sir madam. It's more gender. But gender fair. For example, you know the name of the person. The person, the name like Hope, uh, Mr. Hope Gala. Uh, Hope Gala. Hope, you do not know if it's a male or female. I know for a fact that Hope Gala is a brother of mine, so he's, he's the lacking. But somebody wouldn't know. Uh, so is it correct, polite to say MX Hope Gala? Um, it's not actually wrong, but then if, if, if you are unsure, you can always ask. If we don't have the avenue to ask that person, then yeah, I would actually use MX. I've actually received a letter, and I was, I was, I was surprised to have it, it, it written as MX. I was like, <laughs> and 
Although most people are not yet aware of the use of MX, maybe we can start using it in order for us to um, mainstream it. So yeah, gender expression. So, um, that's how one expresses gender, and it might not actually reflect one's actual gender identity. So, this is where I was saying that um, a man can actually dress up in a dress and be a man. It doesn't matter. They can actually just choose what they want to wear. Because that's how they express themselves, and it doesn't change their gender identity. And a person cannot think, it, ah, you're, you're wearing a dress, then you must be not not a man. You must be gay. Again, we must we must remember that sexual orientation is not your gender expression. That's actually the very that's actually um, a misconception here. I mean, most people think that gay should be flamboyant, gay should be should act like um, gays are feminine, feminine mood, um, they act the act three. But no, the gender expression is very different from one's sexual orientation because sexual orientation is attraction to someone else. And it can, um, I'll show you a short video in order for us to understand or, or understand how the disconnect between um, sexual orientation and gen gender and this is like homophobic actually, right? <laughs> is this horrible? Uh, my name is Kimmy and I'm a student. My name is Carlos. I make custom head of hair. Are you nervous about it? Absolutely, I have no idea what's going on. I feel my temperature raising. Are you related? I try not to, but I'm sure I probably do subconsciously. Are you okay? Yes, sometimes. Keep that all in mind that we never know what you're going to see. Um, sweet. Wow. Okay. I'm tired. 
actually opened with a small activity. And I asked ask people to judge each other. And I, I get into that. And, and, and I tell them like that this is the only time that you're, you're going to judge each other, okay? And not any other activity. <coughs> so, ayan. Ayan. Um, diba yung, yung sa, yung, yung, yung sa Asian guy, he was told that he, he, well, he's gay, but then sinabihan siya na, you're straight because only straight guys wear hats, wear caps. So, how you dress doesn't actually translate to what your sexual orientation is. So, to summarize, so G, it's like this. Sexual orientation is like the heart, because it's who you get to love, who you get attracted to, who you want to be with. Identity is your self identity, it's how you relate yourself. So it's in your head. Sex is biological, so your genitalia. If you have a penis, a vagina, that's your sex. And then expression, the dash line, because it's what people see. It's how you, you really, how you express yourself. And if you're not a homosexual or a bisexual, any person who is heterosexual or cisgender person who supports and celebrates queer identities, interrupts and challenges queer folk or heterosexual remarks and actions of others are allies. So be an ally. Just love. As Gabina, in the long time, Anong nangyari kapag, uh, uh, like, magpakababae ka na. So that's actually a stereotype. Kapag mo ba nasasabi na hindi nagpapakababae yung isang, isang babae? It's an overgeneralization of characteristics based on gender. So gender stereotype. The traditional stereotypes of either that a woman or a man are as follows. <coughs> So, do you agree that ganyan ba talaga ang mga babae? Or ganyan ba talaga ang mga lalaki? No. No doubt. No. May galit na lang yung no sa dito. Kasi, di ba? These are stereotypes. And these are traditions. And it doesn't mean that you're actually true. Maybe it's an over, because it's an overgeneralization of what was, what, what has been happening from ages. So if you're talkative, hindi ka na pwede maging masculine. Or if you're... This is, this is why people say that kalalaki mong tao, umiiyak ka. But it doesn't make you less of a man if you cry. Diba? And if you're medyo brusco na babae, it doesn't make, make you less of a woman. So these are stereotypes that we are trying to to break, and these are based on what we already know because of culture or traditions. And aside from the stereotypes, of gender stereotypes, these are the roles. There are gender roles, which are actually also based on society. These are dictated by society. Na this is what we always say that females, females are should be doing cooking, washing clothes, or household chores, um, caring of children. Well, uh, well, if a man is staying at home and doing household chores, they're actually tagged as a man you are under, but under than that. So, how do you find gender stereotypes or just gender stereotypes? You point it out. You say that it's not actually wrong to do something. If you see in a magazine, on a TV, film, or the internet, there are actually a lot of negative gender stereotypes. Sometimes these stereotypes are hard for people to see unless they're pointed out. 
and be that person, be that person who actually points that points those stereotypes out. And you talk to your friends, talk to family members about these stereotypes that you see, and understand how sexism and gender stereotypes can be hurtful. Be a living example. Be a role model for your friends and family. Respect people regardless of their gender identity or their expression. Create a safe space for people to express themselves and their true qualities regardless of what society's gender stereotypes and expectations are. So if you see someone, a guy who you think um, needs someone to talk to, talk to them. Hey, don't, don't judge them or, be say, or, or tell them that, why are you being so weak? That's why, we're, that's why some people, some, 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 some men don't actually open up because they are expected to be really strong. Or they're allowed to be gentle. We're all humans anyway. So, speak up. If someone is making sexist jokes, comments, whether online or in person, challenge them. Challenge them. <clears throat> and maybe give it a try. Give it a try. Be, be great to the stereotype. If you want to do something that's not normally associated with your gender, think about whether you'll be safe doing it though. If you think you will, give it a try. People will learn from your example. I'm going to share this um, article that I in my little bulletin. My husband does stay at home dad. In the article, actually, he said that bago siya na bago si na 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 friends siya. Kadaming tan chow, they were teased by their friends and their family. But why is it that yung nalaki yung sa bahay? Hindi na. But then, kinanindigan nila. And they're actually happy with their decision because um, they're actually really supportive of each other. You can actually see the article in Manila Bulletin. This is for my husband, the stay at home dad. And actually, to point out dito, hindi daw marun ng magluto yung asawa niya before. And dahil siya na yung nasa bahay, araw-araw ngayon, may baon yung asawa niya sa work. And I ate it to my Tapos, hindi daw natin marunong magluto. Ngayon, tayo nagumuha ng pasta from scratch. And then, di ba, self-development then. Like, they get to grow with each other. They grow as people. If only we allow each other, or we allow people to try. And it can actually be helpful. Prejudice. Uh, having the stereotypes actually also can cause actually prejudice. Gender prejudice are unjustified or incorrect attitudes towards an individual based solely on an individual's membership of a social group. So forming an opinion before knowing the facts. So very common example, if you have a drive, then you can drive. So it's, I have a driver. Tapos or magsala yung party. So sabihin, ay siguro babae yung nag-park niya. Bakit gano'n? Di ba parang ano? So prejudice yung towards the, the females na they're actually really bad drivers. But then no, there are drivers who are female who are really good. And yung skills mo naman sa driving, it, it's not dictated by your sex or your gender identity. So, let us not start judging or do judging or saying comments such as those things just because um, that's how what yung nakasanayan natin and alam natin na it's wrong and it should stop <clears throat> to make things worse sometimes people get discriminated based on their gender even before you get to see posting of jobs that preferably male or preferably female. But that's not allowed anymore based on the law. That equal opportunity for 
both, both sexes. See, it <laughs> said an example here, an equal opportunity employer, but then they may give really good careers, but it doesn't really show that they're actually an equal opportunity employer. Their doors aren't open, the, the window or the, the mold is not actually welcoming for female workers. So, we've discussed gender and sex and gender. What are, is the impact of those sex gender roles and the stereotypes? So, what we learn culturally, the behaviors or the expectations assigned, are, assigned as gender roles causes us to have stereotypes and, and to have prejudice towards a certain gender will lead to discrimination. Eventually, this discrimination will lead to harassment. Violence against women is higher in societies with higher gender inequality. That's why we want to address gender inequality. We want to have equal footing for both men and women. In the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 1 states that all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. Inherent dignity and of the equal and inalienable rights of all members of the human family is the foundation of freedom, justice, and peace in the world. Appreciating diversity of the human race is key to making a safer and more inclusive environment for everyone, regardless of race, sex, religion, sexuality, and or belief, gender and belief. Yeah, so we have to respect and respect each other, each other and know that people differ. And if we have we accept those differences, we will be able to live in a much, much more safer place. Thank you very much. <laughs>